Okay, I'm going to take a minute, this won't be a very long video, to cover positive feedback. Positive feedback is always taught, in my experience, in the homeostasis chapter, and it's always taught with um, negative feedback, but it's important to understand that while positive feedback is going on, um, the variable is going to not be maintaining homeostasis. It may be an investment in homeostasis in the long run, but the variable is going to go well outside of the range. So metaphor. Um, with the air conditioning metaphor that we talked about and the maintaining temperature in your home, um, positive feedback does the opposite. So for instance, if it starts getting too warm in your home and negative feedback um, metaphorically would serve to um, turn on the air conditioner to bring the um, temperature back near the desired range, positive feedback would turn on the heater to add to the direction it was going. So that variable is not maintaining homeostasis when this is going on. So the description that I've written for you is when a deviation from normal occurs, the response is to make the deviation larger. So um, this, for instance, you could say that body temperature would be in a positive feedback situation when you um, get um, a, a pathogenic infection and um, your body temperature starts to increase and instead of um, starting to sweat to cool it down, you start to shiver that t continues to increase the body temperature. Um, now, that is allowing for that variable to go out of homeostasis, but we can probably all agree um, that the fever is really an investment in body-wide homeostasis, but not for the variable at that moment. So, for instance, if you were just going to look at um, a graph of positive feedback and we looked at body temperature, for instance, um, what would be happening is your body temperature would be going along just fine, then you get some kind of pathogenic infection and it starts moving up, and then you start shivering and it starts going bonkers. Um, or here's another example of um, a positive feedback because it doesn't have to go up. Um, what if I um, nick an artery and my blood pressure starts to drop? So what we're doing is we're looking at blood pressure over time this time. This would be blood pressure. And so my blood pressure was going along just fine and then I nicked an artery and my blood pressure starts to drop. But my heart thinking, oh, I know how to help, will actually start to increase the heart rate and therefore the pressure. And then what would happen, whoops, um, what would happen is the blood pressure would go way down. Sorry about that. It went bonkers on me. Um, so um, I think you guys understand. Basically, what happens with positive feedback is which dire whichever direction it's going, um, the response adds to the direction that it's going. It doesn't contradict it. It doesn't oppose it or negate it. So what are some examples of positive feedback? Well, a lot of positive feedback examples are pathological or disease situations, a lot of times they will need intervention or else they're going to lead to death. So for instance, in the fever example, if you were 25 years old and fantastically healthy and you got a fever and it started going up and it went up to 101 and 102 and you started shivering and it goes up to 104, you will probably in all likelihood live through that because um, your homeostatic control mechanisms will eventually, even when it's really out of range, bring it back down. But if that happened to someone who, were, who was 85 or five, um, the, those positive feedback loops can be this vicious cascade that if you don't intervene either physically, like throwing the person in a cold bathtub or medically with a, um, uh, an anti antipyretic, like uh, ibuprofen or something to bring down the fever, then they can lead to death. Um, same thing with the blood pressure thing. If you nick an artery, and no matter how healthy you are, if it's a big enough hole in an artery and you do not plug it, you are going to die. Now, there are a few normal 
Although when they're going on, they're not homeostatic for the variable, but they are normal positive feedback situations, and this is one of them. This is blood clotting. Basically, you get a hole in a blood vessel, and what will happen is um, you will release what's called paracrine factors or paracrine agents that we'll talk about soon. And what those will do is they will attract platelets and then the platelets will release more paracrine agents that will attract more platelets. And these are starting the clotting cascade. And as they add to and add to the amount of clotting factors, the amount of chemicals, then the clot increases and increases and increases really quickly um, until the hole is plugged. So it's gonna have a positive feedback impact. So that's one example. Um, another example, this one might not be super familiar to you guys, but um, another example is um, the example of um, um, the fact that estrogen secre secretion causes the pituitary gland to secrete a hormone that causes more estrogen secretion. And this is during a portion of um, a typical female cycle. Um, and then there's also, um, we will talk about action potentials, which is how you get um, an, uh, a message to move along an axon really quickly. Those actually are great examples of positive feedback as well. As well. They're kind of hard to understand, but basically what happens is you let sodium into the cell and then letting sodium into the cell will cause the opening of more sodium channels, which will cause more sodium to um, be let into the cell. And that's just gonna continue going up as you go all the way down the axon. So it causes a, a really, really fast response. So one way to think about positive feedback is when you want something to go quickly after you start it, then positive feedback is a great way to accomplish it. And that is positive feedback. And um, so a uh, silly little thing, but negative feedback is when something happens, are there any ideas for counteracting it? And positive feedback says that was awesome. Do that again. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Okay. Done with positive feedback.